Okay, so I'm gonna try to record this holding my phone horizontally because last time I did a video vertically it was um horrible. Anyways, <clears throat> sorry if I'm not talking very loud, my throat is killing me. Um I was going through some of my stuff and I found my accordion folder. Um back in 2015, 2016, I started using this for fan art. Um, to organize it alphabetically, um, but now I have it organized by date, I, I think, I don't know, I was pretty scatterbrained when I organized these, but hopefully they're in um, chronological order. Anyways, so here is one from November 2015, um, Gender Mo from The Simpsons, uh, and it may, I'm actually going to redraw this, I don't like the body on this. Um, but yeah, it's not that bad. This is also from November of 2015, November 10th. This is, um, Tina, zombie Tina. Um, I'm just gonna use the zombie excuse for that's why her hands are so jacked up, but yeah. Um, yeah. And, uh, wanna make out? No, I think I'll pass. Um, here are some, oh, jeez. Okay, there we go. OCs, this is Karen. I created this with my friend Tadisha. Um, Karen's bio is Karen is a 15 year old girl who transferred from Shelbyville to Springfield. She is the cousin of William Robbins, who's another OC you will see a lot. Um, she very briefly dated Smithers. Uh, this was also an OC that I created. I think her name was going to be Brandy. I never really did anything with her though. Also, fun fact this was drawn a day after my birthday. Um, yeah, so that's Karen. Um, also on the back was my old um, ID. Pretty much all of this information is null and void except for the top portion here and my fan fiction, my name obviously. Um, pretty much everything else is is um, null and void at this point. Um, this was um, drawn for my friend. It's a birthday present. I haven't talked to this person in a really long time, actually, but they still follow my fanfiction and stuff, so that's really cool. And I think there's something on the back of here, but I'm scared to flip it over, because... Yeah. Um, that's, um... Becky from Word Girl in a prom dress, but instead of going to prom, I think you might want to go to the hospital, because look at that hand. Clearly something is broken. Um... Anyhow, this was an OC I completely forgot about. Totally erased from my mind. Um, and I actually might do something with her, to be honest, because I kind of like the bio. Um, this is Ariel. Her bio is, Ariel is 20 years old. She currently studies marine biology. In her free time, she enjoys skateboarding and surfing. She was hired by Marge as a big sister to Bart to keep the boy out of trouble. And, um... Yeah, I might actually bring this OC back. I kind of, kind of like it. Um, also, I I just said ho ho Homer one day. Oh, I like how you can see kind of the dirty picture on the back. It's not that. It's not that bad, but it's kind of bad. Um, I need to stop inking my rule thirty four. Um, I actually just said ho ho Homer. I thought it was funny, and so this is the only reason why this picture exists because I thought my lame joke was hilarious. It's the only reason that exists. Um, Smithers. And these were drawn in December. But I put it in the November pile because November comes before December. Don't just you don't deal with it. I was really proud of this when I finished it. And I don't know why because it looks awful now. This looks awful as well but I didn't use a reference. Um, this isn't too bad. Uh, fun fact, again, I actually have this sweater. It just has a picture of the Grinch on it instead of saying Smo. I wish it said Smo but it doesn't. Oh yeah. I actually pretty much have this outfit, except I don't have a hat with a poofy. I have a hat like that, but it doesn't have a poofy. Um, there's a picture on the back of this. Um, yeah, I can't show that. <laughs> Smitherella. Um, this is the first time I actually redrew this one, so yeah. Um, yep. I was practicing Mo. Obviously, these are drawn with screenshot references. Some of them are okay. Some of them I kind of really messed up on. But eh, whatever. You live and you learn. And then I drew pretty much the same thing, excluding a couple of things. Um, for Gender Mo, who 
my friend and I call May. So yeah, I actually think May turned out better than Mo. Uh, these are just, uh, I think this was based on Tarzan and Jane. I'm pretty sure this is based on Tarzan and Jane. Ugh, anatomy was awful back in the day. I say that like this is old. Um, this is terrible. I actually did a redraw of it that is a little bit better. I don't know why I had a weird ass accent right then. Um, that arm though, you also might want to go to the hospital. Um, wait. So, it's the next, <clears throat> the next day, so hopefully my throat's a little better. It doesn't feel as sore, so maybe I won't smack my lips as much, because I tend to do that when my throat hurts. I don't know why. But, um, yeah. So I had already shown all my 2015 stuff, so this is from 2016. This is, you know, January 3rd. And I was really happy with this when I first drew it. I don't know why. Like, why are you holding the flower like that? What did the flower ever do to you, Smithers? What did it do? I don't know. Uh, yeah, William, who I mentioned earlier, this is when he's 43. He was actually created as an 18-year-old, and then I just kept aging him up to see what he would look like because I tend to do that when I make OCs. I actually made this with a friend though and we were kind of working on designs together but usually when I make an OC in general I tend to have their age chart because I just I just like knowing how they would progress but yeah that's basically the headshot of it and then the full body um yeah so that's not that actually doesn't look that bad I don't know. I need to be really careful about William Cruz, but I think I'm fine for now. This is um, Annie when she was originally created. I think she was like, uh, I can't remember how old she was supposed to be. Six? Something? I don't know. But yeah. Um, <clears throat> this is Wayla. Wayla is um, one of the Smo twins. <laughs> and Smo is Smithers and Mo, don't judge me. But yeah, she's one of the twins. Uh, I was really proud of this when I drew this, and I'm still kind of proud of it. I mean, I feel like the body is disproportional, but at the same time, like, I still really like it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't... What do you want? Hold up. Okay, that was actually really terrifying. Um, I didn't answer the phone. I never answer the phone because phone calls give me panic attacks, but, um... It was some number I didn't recognize, and somehow it said it was answering the phone, even though we have one house phone. And I kind of heard some stuff over it, and then it, like, they hung up when I didn't even answer it. Um, that was terrifying. I had to double check and hang up the phone, even though I knew it was already hung up, but still. So now I kind of feel like I'm being spied on. Anyways, um, this I drew, um, for absolutely no reason, really. I just was amusing myself. The bodies look weird to me, but whatever. It's uh, Junior, who's the um, Wayla's twin, obviously, because that's Wayla. Um, Junior wants to go to teacups, and then Wayla wants to go to roller coaster, and Wayla just wants to go to the bar, because, you know, raising kids is... having babies is difficult. <laughs> Uh, this is one gender bent version of Wayland. This is like I think the first one I drew gender bent. I still like it. My friend's like, no, you can't give her an afro, and I'm like, I like it, so I'm keeping it. I don't know. This was my tribute to Alan Rickman because I absolutely loved him in both Harry Potter and in Sweeney Todd. Um, yeah, he's done some voice acting too, I believe, but I can't really remember right now. Oh, I have such a headache. Anyways, um, you know, I kind of just did the owl and the post and 394, you know. Yeah. Rest in peace. I titled this one inappropriately on TV and art. Um, because, you know, it's Waylon holding a pussy, so I was just like, eh, Waylon's pussy. Mm. I'm terrible. Anyhow, it was wordplay, so it's not, it's not dirty if it's wordplay. Come on. Oh yeah, there's that. Um, here is- oh my god, I'm still smacking my lips, why am I doing that? I don't typically do that. Oh, okay, I'm getting annoyed with myself. I've been watching too much teen dramas, apparently. Um, okay, this is awful. Uh, Annie, both the quality of the video and the, and the drawings. Um, 
I also try to do this when I make OCs, you know, try to do the front view, uh, profile, and um, three quarter view. I know we're getting into like February stuff, but I think my videos about cut out cuts out every like five minutes or so, and then I have to upload, so yeah, that's why it's gonna be weird looking. Yeah, February 2nd, Angry Beavers. <laughs> my, um, stepdad, well, he's not really my stepdad, but I consider him my stepdad. He loves this show, so I actually kind of drew this for him. It's, like, also, I spooked. I don't know why I find that funny. <laughs> that was the name of the phone that I came up with, because I'm a loser. Um, this is the whole Robbins family, because that's William's last name. It's William. He was fat when he was a kid, by the way. Annie, Johnny, um... Wilhelmina and Bud and my friend and I legitimately named him Bud because he's an alcoholic. <laughs> We're horrible people. Oh, I'm like showing ugly and disgusting stuff on the back pages that I didn't date or anything. Yeah, like if I didn't like a picture that I drew on one page, I would flip it over and draw a picture. I still don't like this picture though, but I might redraw it just because, you know, it, it would be important to the series. Um, okay, yeah, this thing is about to shut down. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it off, and then I'll be right back. Um, I'm having to balance my computer on my leg here, because if I close it, it won't move the video file for some reason. I don't know why. But um, yeah, so this was a Disney version of William and Waylon when they were teenagers. <clears throat> uh... I actually really like this when I first drew it, but the eyes are way too big on, on both, but, um, William said it's shaped weird, but still, it's kind of, it's kind of cute, I guess. Uh, this I really hate. I do not like how this turned out at all. Um, and it was based off of a base. Like, you know, obviously I didn't use the base, but I used it as reference. Um, I don't like it. <laughs> this I liked. This one I was really proud of, especially after I colored it. But then, like, people were telling me, hey, she looks like Miley Cyrus, and I was mad, but I still like it, because I can see Helga kind of looking like this. This was in February. This is undated, but I remember coloring it on the same day, because I wanted to get it done, so I know the date. But yeah, that's, that's the colored version. And I don't know if I explained this before, but if you see, like, pages with sketches, and then, like, there's this masking tape on it, that's because I would tape this the sketch and then tape another piece over it, lay it over my computer screen to use as a makeshift um, backlight or whatever it's called and I would use that to ink and color and stuff. That way I would have the original sketch not worried about screwing it up and still have a colored version. Also when I did that I usually outlined in colored pencil. <clears throat> it was just like a random thing I did because I was bored picture of Marge, and I just wanted to see how many little swirlies I could make. Uh, my hand hated me for days after I did this one. I didn't actually like it when I first drew it, but it's not that bad now. I actually kind of think it turned out kind of cool. Here's a um, Beauty and the Beast crossover. By the way, you're going to be seeing a lot of uh, Disney Simpsons crossovers in my stuff. Um, you know, there's like some dialogue, I don't feel like reading it, but yeah. <laughs> uh, Smitherella, this was actually the redrawn version from the version I showed in 2015, so yeah. <clears throat> I can't remember when it, was it December 2015? I believe it was. So that was from December to February, so yeah, I really kind of started buckling down. And here's more uh, Disney Princess Smither stuff. Um, that's Belle's golden dress, Ariel's green dress, which honestly I'm not really a big fan of. Um, Ariel's, oh, hold up a second, wait, the, no, why are you playing the old video? Okay, no, <laughs> let me close out of this. I'm accidentally clicking stuff on the computer. Anyways, I'm not a big fan of Ariel's green dress. I like the pink one better, but just my opinion. Um, Aurora's pink gown and Aurora's blue gown. Uh, this was Aurora's forest outfit, and since there is masking tape, you can see that this does have a colored version, but it's a little later on because I dated the colored version, and it was totally a different date. But, um, yeah, so there's that. Um, this was Aurora's pink gown. 
I believe. And here's here's the um, color version. Yeah, this was on the 19th. Or the other one, I believe, was on the 17th or so. I don't really remember. Um, yeah, the coloring's a little kind of shabby because they were 50 cent um, color pencils, but it turned out okay. Some more things of William, you know, the front view profile, or front view <laughs> three-fourths and profile. Gosh, I don't know anything. This is so weird holding things like this. Ow, hold on. I'm not editing any of this out, by the way, because I'm not risking the file again. Focus, camera. Oh my god. I hate using my phone's camera. Hold on. Yes, there's a lot of boxes. I just moved back in here last night. Um, William, Waylon, teenage form. Here's the redraw of that other thing. See, I actually did a cover art for the book, which I'm proud of when I actually do something like that. But, yeah. Um, this was going to be an ID, but I think I just left it as this. There's a sketch version of this, too. I don't like this as much as I did back then. Uh, more W2, which is what we call the ship. Um, even more... W2, but it's weird because William looks like a little kid. <laughs> uh, Smo, like teenage Smo. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, it's like, is this romantic? Like, because. Uh, based on true story. <laughs> um, more of the twins. Like, that's basically like a family picture, and I just mainly wanted to do the whole pint and half pint thing. And that was originally going to say straight out of time out, but I was out of room, so straight out of drawing space. Uh, William at age 20. I mainly just wanted to draw that jacket, to be honest. Oh my gosh, that's the, um, the cover for Curtain Call, which is a fan fiction I wrote. I'll leave the description in the link below so you guys can go flame it. Um... Smithers White, you know, Snow White. Yeah, I'm not very creative with these names, are I? Am I? Are I? Oh my god. <laughs> um, this was me attempting to draw in my friend's style. I think it turned out kind of cute. If it would focus... Focus? Focus... There we go. Yeah. This is also based on true story, except I don't have kids. It's just kids that I babysit and stuff go through their phases of destroy everything. And it's like, and nobody knows if they lived happily ever after because somebody kept tearing pages out of the book. The end. <laughs> and then you slip them in Benadryl and put them in bed. Okay, that part's not true. I don't do that. <laughs> don't drug your babies, please. Um, this was actually background practice because I suck at backgrounds. Um, this is William's bedroom. You can see there's a lot of sports stuff because, you know, he's like a football player. But yeah. I was really proud of this when I first drew it. I'm not as proud of it now. But I still like the way that Waylon turned out a little bit. But yeah, it's more W2 stuff. I still think this is cute though. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Um, basically, William got clobbered, and William's just taking care of him. This is the W2 twins. Um, Winona and Wilma. Don't ask. <laughs> Here's Lars from Rocket Power. I was actually going through a Rocket Power phase. I don't really know why. Um, it's weird. I think because I was just wanting to surf so bad, so I had to live vicariously through old Nicktoons that tried way too hard to be cool. <laughs> But yeah, I'm actually really proud of the face because I've never drawn Lars before. Oh my god, my hand's shaking so bad. I'm so sorry. But yeah. Oh, Time Warp Trio stuff. I miss this show. I actually really don't like how this turned out. I kind of, I like, I think Sam's face is cute, but the head shapes are very um, off-putting and weird. But this is the one out of all the Time Warp Trio stuff I have drawn and posted on my account. This is the one that shows up on Google Images and it. <laughs> Oh, it's absolutely outraging. Uh, friend Sam, ten years later, and it's like, come on, Sam, it's been ten years, you still don't trust me with the book? You can't be serious. I'm not good at acting right now, okay? I like, just deal with it. But what was funny is that I just threw ten years in at random, and it actually had been ten years uh, from the series. This one I like still, though. I like how Fred turned out. Sam kind of looks a little bit odd, but... 
Yeah, I I ship it. I'm sorry, and you can see the masking tape. So the sketched version is still taped to it. I think. Yeah, yeah. See. <laughs> uh, these are uh, female counterparts, obviously. Um, gender soft, gender bent, whatever. And this was so difficult to come up with names because of Freddy, Jody, and Samantha. And also. Am I the only one who's bothered that they changed the name from Josie to Jody for the, the TV series? I don't know. That just... Because I grew up reading the books, and I still really love the books, so I don't know. See, and here's the other one. Yeah, this is actually drawn on Easter Sunday. I don't know why I felt the need to point that out. Oh, also, um... <laughs> my full name, okay. Uh, yeah, so... Yep. <laughs> don't have the names, I don't even know. Oh my gosh, stuck. This is actually like a therapy thing or something. I don't really remember. But, um, I used my handle initials. And then, like, it's basically stuff that you love, like the ocean, mermaid. The filming time limit is now nine minutes because I deleted some things. But yeah, it crashed here. So, um, basically, you know, fill up your initials or whatever handle initials with stuff that you love. Anchors, once upon a time, they're blah 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 blah, because I love writing, and then like some little drawing doodles, and then The Simpsons, because that's my favorite show, Smo, W2, I've already explained that, and then like Aliens in Outer Space, and yes, I believe in aliens, don't judge me. Um, one of those, I don't really know what you call them, Mandela, Mandela, Ma uh, Nelson Mandela, no, yeah, Nelson Mandela's, that's what I'm gonna call them. Um, a bubbles just filled with a bunch of like random stuff like hearts and stuff because I don't know what am I even talking about and another one of a sea turtle um, <laughs> oh this is actually kind of embarrassing oh the coloring is what was that sorry had to make dinner decisions anyways um, I should redraw this because I've gotten a lot better at bodies since this but, um, look at the nipples. YouTube, please don't. Please don't. Please don't ban me. YouTube doesn't like the nips. Um, but yeah. You know, obviously. This is actually based off, like, 1950s stuff. I was just randomly doodling. And, yeah. I think it looked kind of cool now. When I first drew it, I absolutely hated it. <laughs> um, I was drawn from a screenshot of... The burns cage, I suddenly feel like I need to vomit. I don't know why. Oh, God. Oh, okay. I'm not editing anything. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it doesn't look as on point. Like, when I first drew it, I was like, yeah, this looks amazing. And now it's like, uh, no. <laughs> what were you thinking? Um, this is just like, you know, Wesleyan as an angel. And there's a backstory behind that, but I'm not going to get into the whole thing until I start getting into the pictures. But basically, if you can see this, it's lyrics from a Theory of a Dead Man song. Love that band. Um, here's Lisa with a B. And bees scare me to death. I'm glad we have them, but they are terrifying to me. I'm horrified. But yeah, so I like how I drew Lisa there. Also, if you hadn't noticed, I don't really draw Lisa because... Freaking starfish is impossible. Okay, that's based off of a base as well. You know, don't use the base, but just like reference from it. So yeah, this I don't like. The body is awkward, but this is actually based off of an AU where Waylon had cancer when he was a teenager. Uh, it's a whole story arc, really, that I don't have a lot of time to get into, but basically that's what that is. This is a redraw of something that every couple of years I redraw it. I first posted it on my very first DeviantArt account way back in the day. Then I redrew it in 2013 or 2014, and this was the 2016 redraw. I really don't like this anymore. I mean, I like it better than I thought I would, but... My god, the hands and the arm positioning. But I am going to redraw it. I think I'm going to do the draw this again meme with, with this. But it, basically, it's we're a girl aged up. So This was me in my work uniform before I went to work at this suck-ass company for a total of a couple of days before 
I developed a serious work entry that nobody cared about, and... Ah! Okay. <laughs> uh, Annie again. And this is Annie when she was 39. Now see, there's also a story behind this as well that I can't get into, but basically, William got separated from his sister and brother when he was growing up, and he thought that they had died, but they had actually been rescued and adopted out. Um, but yeah, <laughs> it's a long story. This is actually created by a friend of mine. This is Love Child of Burns and Smothers, obviously. And if I smack my lips one more time, I'm going to smack myself, I swear. But yeah, so that's what that is. There's a story art behind that too, but I just haven't written it down. Because she has dyslexia and she's like really insecure about writing. So I was like, hey, I'll write it for you. And I never did. So This was for a friend of mine as well, but we don't really talk anymore. Here's Lisa. Like I said, I never, if you notice, I never draw Lisa in the show style because I'm absolutely horrible at it. And she's just easier to draw in ways like that. This is my friend and Waylon. I'm pretty sure there's something on the back of that. Yeah, really horrible looking picture of William that I'm not even going to show. Uh, Simpsons hand practice. This is like getting into April, I believe, yeah. Actually, I think we've been going through April. <laughs> oh, well, did I just snort? Uh, I'm a loser. Anyways, but yeah. And also, I was studying noses, eyes, and mouths. Um, this was going to have, like, a painting or oil pastel in the background of, like, the galaxy and stuff. And, yeah, I actually still remember what I was going to call this. It's going to be called A World of Our Own, but, um, I never finished it. So, yeah. This was just, you know, draw a bunch of balls and shade them <laughs> and see how it works out. I actually think it turned out pretty okay. Um, in case you haven't noticed, I cheated a little bit. I didn't actually draw these circles. I did shade them. I did put down the undershading and everything like that. But, um, I actually have a measurement for polymer clay, and I used to use that to create circles. Like, I've, I've done it again there, which is how I know the size. And this was just, like, face study and stuff. Like, I was trying to do a tutorial, but obviously I failed. I even gave up. You can see where I erased the face. So, yeah. This was before the show even aired. This was from The Loud House, and I got into that fandom for like a few months, but I kind of fell out of it before everything started going down, and I was just like, yeah, I don't really care about the show as much as I thought I was going to. Um, this is another OC. This is William's friend. I think his name is Marcus, but I can't really remember. Oh <laughs> yeah, Peppa Pig. Um, I think it's cute, okay? Leave me alone. Here's another one I did, like, right after the show aired, or right, I'm not really sure, um, but it was gender bends in my style. I think I was the first or the second to draw gender bends of them. I'm pretty sure I was the first, but I don't know. It's on a really old account, or not really old, but, you know. This I liked better before I inked it, at least before I inked Junior, because, yeah. Um, the markers were more powerful than I thought they were going to be. <laughs> but anyways, I still kind of like how Wayla turned out, but other than that. Yeah. This I used a blue color pencil to see if that would help at all. Uh, it helped a little bit. Uh, I, I like this. It's okay. Yeah, see, here's another one from the Loud House. Um, this is my first attempt at drawing Luann aged up. Um, I actually drew a lot of them on my nautical pudding account, which I abandoned because, God, Jesus. Um, this is based off a picture of Adam Lambert. Yeah, that's all that needs to be said about that. The anatomy is absolutely horrible, but I probably will redraw that because it's cool looking to me still. Um, this was a picture for my friend, drawn up my friend. This was actually the day that I got Micron pens. For the first time, as you can tell, and I was obsessed. I was angry that that turned out that way, though, because it, like, started bleeding, but whatever. Um, yeah, I miss having microns. I wish I had some more. You're gonna see a lot more micron art now, as soon as, like, you know. Here's another one, um, from the Cancer AU. Um, it also has a quote. I didn't put who made the quote, but whatever. Look it up on Goodreads. Uh, Smithers the fuck boy. Um, hashtag geek chic, hashtag fuckboy. <laughs> I really don't like how it turned out. 
Oh, Sid! I don't know why he's holding his hat like that. It was really weird, but... This was actually for fanfiction I was considering, but it never... Never happened. <laughs> Here's Quag from Peep in the Big Wide World, which if you've never seen that, it's hilarious. It's like Aqua Teen Hunger Force for children. It's, it so is. But yeah, human alias Drake. I don't really think he looks like a Drake, but I just went with it because of the reasoning. It's Middle English. Drake means male duck. Um, I'm so lazy that I drew this in July and didn't ink and color it until September. And it took me two different days to ink and color it. I still like it though. Quack's my favorite. <laughs> Recording horizontally. I don't know. I just had to edit one of the clips, so I'm hoping it doesn't mess it up to rotate it because I was holding the phone horizontally, but it filmed vertically, anyways. Um, also, I gotta try to get through this fast because it's almost seven and I've still gotta take a shower and eat dinner and everything. Anyways, um,. This is Vanessa Scott. She's another OC. She was legitimately only designed to be the stereotypical mean girl, uh, you know, slut, basically. That's really all I can say. Like, we designed her to be the stereotypically slutty as possible. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> another thing from the Cancer AU. Um, another William at age... 20. I actually based this off of a picture I saw in a coloring book of Mickey Mouse. <laughs> uh, fun fact, I guess. Uh, I absolutely hate that one picture. It's gross, but uh, whatever. You know, just do it later is what it's supposed to say. Baby um, Dory as a mermaid, which I, I have a picture of Dory that I drew as a mermaid as her older self, but it, it was drawn in like November, or no, October actually. Um, Ariel, kind of in my style and more modernized, and then gender bent Waylon with the hairstyle that I wanted so badly for so long, and then I finally got it. But now my hair's grown out so much, I legitimately look like Marge Simpson when I put it up in a bun. Um, more Disney crossovers. This was based off the scene from The Little Mermaid, and I still kind of like how this turned out. But, like, if you can see, like, it got all smeared up because this was actually in a sketchbook, and then, like, I pushed. The, I closed the sketchbook and it, another sketch leaked on it and everything and just bleh. I still really like this as well. Um, yeah. I still really like that. <laughs> I don't really know what to say about it, but I like it. Um, oh yeah, like old people, <laughs> Moe and Smithers, you know. Um, I honestly don't remember if I came up with this quote or if I found it online. I really cannot remember. But, um, if you find it online, just know that I didn't mean to steal it, it just happened, and I have a horrible memory. I was depressed when I drew this. <laughs> I was depressed. Um, Tina and Jimmy Jr. from Bob's Burgers, obviously. And, uh, yeah, it was actually based off the Aladdin conspiracy theory, because Tina would totally believe that. I mean, come on. Uh, another Disney parody, Snow White. I suck at drawing burns. <laughs> I think I've mentioned that in this video, but I'm not sure. But yeah, I suck at drawing burns. Uh, a Corpus Bride, Bob's Burgers um, crossover. I like this better before I inked it, to be honest. Um, I absolutely hate the way this looks now, but I might redraw it anyways, because I do think Tina would totally wear a shirt that says that. <laughs> so yeah. I still like this one, though. This is Sam from Time War Trio when he has a cold and it's like, you know, everything sort of tastes like phlegm at this point. Relatable. <laughs> this was Salad Fingers based off of the, uh, the nurse theory, the PTSD nurse theory. Uh, personally, I don't take this theory too close to heart, but at the same time, it's still interesting. Like, I have my theories that I believe, but, like, I thought this was one of, one of the more interesting ones, so I drew it. Um, here it is. Mermaid Dory. I still really like this. You can see where I cut off the body, though, because the body looked absolutely horrible, but yeah. Miffy. Just because I think Miffy is adorable. Um. <laughs> 
Colleen. I was actually really proud of this. I still kind of am because the eyes are rather like symmetrical. I'm horrible at drawing symmetry and I'm usually terrible at drawing glasses and I think they turned out pretty decent here. But what's funny is what's on the back <laughs> is little comic strips based off of Corey B videos. Uh, this is when Trignal found out that Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie broke up. And this is when someone's sick around Colin. Also when somebody's sick around me. <laughs> you sneeze and I women do your symptoms. You immediately have Ebola. Um, gender swapped uh, 7 from 7 Little Monsters. Because I just saw this um, bathing suit on Google Images. And I thought, yes, it's perfect. So, yeah. That's where that originated from. This was drawn for my mom. Um, last October. No, the October before last. Holy crap. Yeah, my old art. I found a bunch of it. Hold on. That was my mom, actually. No, not yet. Hold on. I'm going to take one as soon as I get done with this. Yeah, see? Yep. Just for my mom. Because this is actually based off a scene from, I uh, can't remember the title of the episode, but basically. <laughs> of course she interrupts when I'm trying to talk nicely about you. But yeah, I thought they had a missed opportunity of showing like a cute scene. Cause they didn't do a flashback and I was really hoping that they would. This is back when I was drawing Mountain Dew characters um, in human form. Yeah, I drew live wire too, but I don't know where it is. Another picture of Seven. He went as a pumpkin for Halloween. That's why he's got a candle on his tongue and everything. Focus camera. Ugh. I just had to do that in order to get it to focus. I want to do Yeah. I love you too. Um. Uh, gender salt three. With sweater weather. Which, yeah. I don't know how... Okay. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's weather weather. And then Paige from Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared. Oh my god, this is the last one. <laughs> I like how it started in, well, basically started in December of 2015 and ended with November of 2016. Anyways, yeah, that's, um, it was supposed to be red ink as new black, but it ended up just looking like a rash, so I kept making jokes that I feel like I need to rub ointment on this picture. But I'm actually happy with the way that this turned out for, like, you know, the sake of symmetry and stuff of the face, because usually I'm really bad at that. Um, of course, now on camera it doesn't look as symmetrical, but whatever. Oh my gosh, and that was all of them. Oh yeah, that was just... Okay, well, I'm about to upload this last clip, and then I'm going to take a shower, so. Yes. That's all my old artwork. Well, except for the ones from 2017. I didn't actually draw that much in 2017. I wrote more in 2017, but yeah. Freaking lip smack again. Bye.